Welcome back to Jersey Matters. It is a sad state of affairs that schools across the country have to drill for the real possibility of an active shooter. Our Sherry Carabin takes us inside a school conducting one of those drills. Thank you, Larry. While there was confusion among students and staff at the Parkland, Florida High School as to whether the incident was actually a second fire drill, their doubts were erased after they heard the words code red over the public address system, warning of an active shooter in the building. As school shootings become more common, the use of active shooter drills and code words are some of the first lines of defense. Last June, a major drill was held in Hudson County at the Robert Fulton School in North Bergen. Again, as educators and law enforcement prepared for the day they hope will never come. Students flee from this North Bergen school building as bullets fly. While this incident at the Robert Fulton School last June was merely a drill, the images are not that different from the recent scenes outside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in South Florida. Long before the Valentine's Day killings by alleged gunman Nicholas Cruz, North Bergen officials held their drill, joining hands with other area police departments, along with Hudson County, state and federal officials, to dramatize several scenarios in different areas of the school building. We picked a school, which is a large elementary school. It's three stories and a basement. and. You know, many different ways to get into the building, doors all around it. About 200 people participated in the June 2017 exercises at the Robert Fulton School, including law enforcement, North Bergen students, and educators. No one knew the scenario until about five minutes before it unfolded. Um, the deputy chief and I approved it just before it began. I, I didn't allow anyone to know the scenario because I didn't want it leaking out to any of my people. We, we need it to be as realistic as possible. I don't want people coming in with information. They don't need, we're not going to have, God forbid, there's a critical incident. They're not going to have that information ahead of time. To keep this drill from leading to any real life tragedies, non lethal guns and bullets were used. But there was live fire, requiring officers to wear protection and precautions to be taken with students and teachers. Still, for many participants, the fear was real. This teen, who suffered a simulated wound to her leg, says the drill provided insight about how she might actually react in the situation. I was terrified, but I wanted to make sure my friends were okay, so I checked on them and I tried to push them against the wall and see if they were okay first before I like looked at my wound. Would you say that having gone through this experience that you're more prepared if this really happened? Definitely, like I, I know that this, like, this actually can happen now and that um, it's, just, it's a real situation and it's not just something that you can see on TV or it's something that can, it's real. Indeed, the experience is all too real for those present during the recent shooting in Florida. North Bergen Superintendent of Schools George Salter Jr. says the district has made some changes since the June 2017 drill, including requiring police and search and rescue teams to use a code word to let those hiding know it's safe to open classroom doors. There's also a new protocol in place for ending lockdowns, requiring the announcement to come from two separate administrators. Salter says this will minimize threats in the event one person is taken hostage and forced to make a false announcement. In North Bergen, this is Sherry Carabin reporting for Jersey Matters. All right, thank you, Sherry. When Jersey Matters continues, we're going to take a close look at violent video games and if they inspire school shootings. That's when we come right back.